you know, you when you signed with the AEW, I think a lot of people were surprised because they probably saw you as a WWE lifer right. um, rather than you know going to AEW. I guess you know people were very curious what Vince McMahon's reaction would be to you when you came to AEW. What was that like? You know, was there a conversation when you when you joined? Yeah, I actually got a phone call um, that day from Vince and Kevin Dunn, who I have a great relationship with both of them, and Vince um, wished me a lot of luck, uh, knew for a fact that the experience that I've had and the things that I've been through, I'd be a great asset for AEW, and I will help the brand out a lot, and, and uh, uh, I've known Vince, I mean, I grew up on Vince, I mean, Vince, my first media training was with Vince personally, so... Um, I know that Vince is somebody that respects uh, gumption. He, he respects people that take chances. And uh, I'm not one that was going to sit around on my ass where I was before and ride on my tenure or any of that crap. Like, I'm hungry and I like to build and I like to create and I like to be a part of, of something. That's the hunger and the energy. So I saw a great opportunity of what AEW was doing uh, to be involved and help build something. And I think that's what attracted me the most about AEW was that opportunity to see something grow, mainly from my love for the business. Um, I want the business, the industry to be better. I want more diversity of product for the fans because competition is good for any, everyone. And uh, I think um, the relationship I have with Vince and Kevin, they understood what I was doing and why I was doing it. You know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a hungry old timer. <laughs> Well, you know, it's funny because Matt Hardy did an interview recently and he talked about how if he'd stuck with WWE, he'd probably have to be a producer. That, that would probably be the role. Yeah. Is that kind of what the, the role was going to be for you had you stayed? Well, yeah, like I know that they had talked to me about being a producer and I told Vince if he wanted me to um, you know, bash my head in with a hammer, make me a producer. I don't, <laughs> I don't consider myself a producer. And you know, you know, you know Vince maybe better than anybody. You worked with him for so long. What do you think he thinks about AEW selling, you know, over eighty-five thousand tickets at Wembley? Oh well, I think he's pissed. <laughs> I think he's absolutely pissed, but he's pissed in a good way because um, he's the type that, like, oh, okay, he likes competition. He likes that challenge. Vince is very much uh, uh, animal of the jungle type mentality. So if I think Vince is um, a guy that thrives on competition, that thrives on doing new things, that thrives on, on uh, um, being the best in his mind at what he does. So when you know, competition steps up, that fires Vince up more than anything. Uh, the worst thing that can happen to Vince McMahon is to be bored and monotonous. You know, uh, if he's got competition, it fires him up to be better, which is a win for for the fans because you know they'll get a better product and it's good for us because we produce a better product too so competition is good.